Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to be talking all about how to outfit a commercial sound system for your restaurant. Uh, whether you've got a small little mom and pop uh, restaurant or a fast food place, or if you've got a uh, large sweeping bistro or steakhouse, uh, adding an audio system can definitely help enhance the ambiance and improve your uh, client's experience. So uh, today we're going to talk about what do you need to think about when building a new sound system for your restaurant. So as I mentioned, we can pretty much design a, a sound system for a very small, uh, casual, in and out type restaurant, or we can do something for a much larger space uh, with a bar, uh, multiple zones of private dining. Basically, the sky's the limit um, as far as uh, meeting your needs for what you need for your restaurant. There are some questions we need to review, though, as far as uh, what's most important for your system. First, we need to kind of consider uh, the coverage area of your space. Uh, how big is it? Um, are we talking about, once again, like a 600 square foot fast dining space? Or do we have uh, five or 10,000 square feet of private dining and uh, outdoor patio? Uh, we need to kind of keep in mind, you know, what, what, what does the overall space look like and how much of it do we want to cover? Do we want uh, separate audio in different rooms, you know, private dining having their own music playing, whereas the main dining hall has something different. Do we want separate sound for our patio? Do we need to shut it off after hours uh, so that we're not bothering the neighbors? Do we want sound in the office? Do we want sound in the kitchen where the kitchen guys can listen to something different? Uh, in the restrooms, lobby, hallways, transitional areas. We want to kind of keep in mind uh, where do we need sound, how loud does the sound need to be, and, uh, and then that kind of informs what speakers we need and where we need to put them. That kind of lends itself to look at what kind of speaker types do we need. Obviously, we've all seen restaurants with some of these different types of speakers I have here. Uh, if you have a high open ceiling, sometimes we'll use a pendant type speaker, like the uh, SoundTube RS42EZ I have here. Uh, also comes in black. We can do black pendant speakers, white pendant speakers, whatever we need. Uh, or maybe we don't want to mess with running speakers through an open ceiling, or say we have a concrete ceiling. We can do surface mount speakers from companies like JBL or um, ElectroVoice. Um, or maybe we actually want to put speakers into a ceiling. Say we have acoustic tile ceiling, um, or we have a sheetrock ceiling that we can cut into. Uh, then we can use you know, either small background music speakers, or if we need something more robust, more full range, we have larger in-ceiling speakers like from Yamaha here. If we want to do a foreground level music application, you know, something a little bit more rocking, um, like a sports bar or something like that, we can also add subwoofers if needed, and those subwoofers can be wall-mounted, hanging pendant or in ceiling, just like the rest of the speakers here. Also many times we need to do a mix. Um, say we may have a open ceiling main dining space, um, but we've got a patio where we need all weather speakers outside, uh, but we need some small speakers in the office or in the restrooms, uh, we can do that as well. From there we need to kind of consider what volume levels are we looking for. That helps to inform what amplifier we need. Uh, is it all going to be background music? If so, we probably don't need a very big amplifier, even for lots of speakers, because um, this is likely going to be a 70 volt distributed audio system. I can use something like a Pure Resonance Audio MA series, you know, up to 120 watts available at 70 volt. Uh, that can likely power a light background music system. But if we need a lot more wattage, um, we need more volume, we need bigger speakers, more wattage, um, more zones, then we need a more robust amplifier. Um, we also need to th kind of think through uh, any zoning. Uh, are we going to play the same music everywhere? Do we want to play different music in different spaces? Do we need to have an input for uh, the big game so that we can play uh, uh, you know, the Super Bowl inside the sports bar area, uh, but not have it interfere in the main dining area? Uh, that's another thing to kind of consider. Um, also, do we need any paging? You know, sometimes at a restaurant we want to be able to page to the patio, hey, your table's ready, but do we want that page to go everywhere? If not, we might need to do a multi-zone system with something like our uh, Pure Resonance Audio PMZ-16 to be able to page to the areas separately. Um, with all of these things, we, we can also add a in-wall volume control to allow um, individual zone adjustments for volume in different areas. Uh, say we want to be able to shut off the patio speakers at night. We can tie the patio speakers to this volume control and be able to make quick adjustments on the fly without impacting any of the other zones. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of some of the things we can think through here. Um, if you want to check out some of the pre-built systems we have for restaurant sound systems on our website, you can check it out at www.proacousticsusa.com. You can give us a call, 888-256-4112. 
Uh, make sure and drop us a like down below. Subscribe for uh, when we have new content posting. And um, let us know if you're watching. Let us know if you've got any questions that we can help out with. Once again, I'm Nathan, and we'll see you guys next time.